James, let me ask you a question. All these people that cut human heads, cut human parts for money rituals, do they take it to Jesus? But there are pastors too who do these things. James. Ah, Grandpa. <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. I'm not seeing you today. Where have you been? Grandpa, I've told you, stop calling me James. I no longer bear that name. Ah, my name is Eshu Dollar. I'm a traditionalist. I'm no longer a Christian. Grandpa, I've told you, I'm back to my African roots. I've left that, that foreign religion. I'm back to my African roots. Yes. So where are you coming from? Today is our festival day, Grandpa. Please come closer. Grandpa, ah. Junior! Please come and take this from here. You can sit down, James. So, um, where do you say you are coming from? Today is our festival day, just like you guys do Christmas. You guys. How was the celebration? Ah, hey, Grandpa, hey. It was a wonderful time, oh. Ah, it was a wonderful time. We had the uh, freedom to do what we want to do. Unlike your foreign religion, don't do this, don't do that, don't do, don't, don't, don't. Don't smoke. Don't, 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 don't touch you, man. Don't, don't, don't. Bondage. So in your new religion, people are free to live as they like. People are free to be who they are, who they want to be, and not pretending to be what they are not. Wow. What freedom. By the way, I perceive alcohol from you. You now drink? I do, sir. It is not forbidden in my religion. But you were not drinking when you were going to church. Even though you were not really serious with God, but I know you were not drinking. Um, that's because you guys made everything look like sin. So it's official. You now drink. My religion doesn't forbid it, Grandpa. So, so why not? In fact, Grandpa, <laughs> I have the leftover of the one we used in worshipping the gods today. In fact, the gods, they were really excited. Your God drinks alcohol. So a God that drinks alcohol, how will his worshippers be responsible? This is serious. Uh, what about smoking? Is that one okay to your religion? Well, me, I don't smoke. But those who do, they are allowed to express themselves. They are not judged. Oh. The same with sex, I guess. Because I see how you change girls these days. Different girls at different times. Fornication too is not a sin in your new religion. 
you are the one who gave it that name, sir, from your foreign religion. You just give terrible names for, for normal things. It is not fornication, Grandpa. It is normal. It is normal. So basically, there's nothing you do in this your religion. This your new religion that is sin. All you have to do is just bring a call and a kara. And you can live a messed up life. It does not concern your God. Oh, Grandpa, I have something to do inside. James, sit down. James, imagine a man. Imagine a man that says to his children, Because I love you, so you are free to live your life anyhow. Drink anything you want, go anywhere you want, smoke anything you want, sleep with anyone you want to sleep with. All I need is for you to agree that I'm your father. And you can live as you want. What sort of father will you call that father? A very useless and irresponsible father. That's what it will be. Any God that gives people excessive freedom and says you can live anyhow you like, just worship me, just bring a car and a car, and your life can be a mess. It's not creator the true God that created all flesh that created you we do anything to prevent us from damaging our lives even if it takes putting us through stringent rules as any responsible father will do to his children it is the devil who doesn't care and that's because he seeks to destroy humanity James, let me ask you a question. All these people that cut human heads, cut human parts for money rituals, do they take it to Jesus? But there are pastors too who do these things. Yes, they exist. But the pastors who do that are those who have switched camp to this place that you are going. They need people where you have not just gone. There is no death in Jesus at all. Throughout his, his time on earth, he never killed anybody and never ordered the killing of... Have you ever heard of any Christian group killing people in the name of Christianity? There is no death in Jesus at all. Anywhere you see death, it is not Jesus. Because Jesus came to give life and not to kill. It is the devil that kills. Anywhere you see excessive freedom and indulgence, that is the devil's government. The devil has seen that the generation is a very gullible one. The generation is a follow, follow generation. Anything you see, especially online, you just follow without understanding it. Once one person brings it on and puts it there, all of you will go in that direction. That's why Satan repackaged destruction and brought it to you, telling you it's your African roots. You should go back to it. Look at me. Am I against our culture? Why did I accept to be chief in this town if I'm against African culture? I'm a proud African man. Very proud African man. But I will never subscribe to worshipping Satan and calling him God. Never. And this is not the same God that our forefathers served. That, that they were sacrificing, sacrificing their children to idols. And this is not the same God that even today, when they are being worshipped, the stranger dares not come to that town at an odd hour, it will definitely go missing. I did not say wicked idols. When, when did they turn and become good? When did they change? 
are these not are these not are these not the same gods that have turned all our young men into ritualists calling themselves yahoo boys are these not the same gods that they go to to destroy their lives if a if a foreign religion compels you to to be your best self and you become useful to yourself and to your society wouldn't you rather go for that foreign religion than your your roots as you call it where you have the the, the liberty to destroy yourself and become a threat to your society i'd rather worship the almighty god the invisible almighty god and begin to worship stumps of dead trees, stones, and statues. Worshiping idols that 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 drink human blood, that drink animal blood, and even alcohol. Listen, James. If you don't want your children and your children's children to be cursing you for bringing them into generational darkness. It is not too late for you to retrace your steps on that way of destruction you are going and genuinely surrender your life to Jesus so that your life can end well. James, they are deceiving you. It is not your African roots. They are calling you to come and worship the devil. There's nothing like African gods or European gods or American gods or Asian gods. There's only one true God, universal. And we come to him through his son who died for the old world, Jesus Christ. So, it is Satan they are calling you to come and worship. It is Satan they are worshiping, not God. Oh, for all I have said, James, you are a reasonable boy. Can you force me on any of the things I have said? Are they not true all, all what I have said? The target is your generation wants to waste your generation what your fathers and your mothers prayed for decades to break is giving it to you and because you have no knowledge you are accepting it calling it our religion you may you may not you may not believe me now james but what i know is that if you don't believe me now you will believe me later and my prayer is just that by the time you realize what you have entered, it will not already be too late for you. Let me give you the final one. Satan does not do good because he cannot do good. I have told you what I know. The rest is in your hand. 